my wife and I recently purchased a uh, Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's the Sahara, it's 2022. It's the uh, 4xe, so it's a plug-in hybrid. And decided that uh, we normally have our vehicles just out in the yard during the winter and clean off snow and everything. But with this being a plug-in hybrid, I thought it'd be nice to give it a little home. Uh, Jeep's name is Joy. It's mostly my wife's Jeep. Uh, almost entirely my wife's Jeep. But so I'm building a little home for it today. And I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing this because this was a really inexpensive uh, car canopy, carport, temporary garage, whatever you want to call it. I usually would use uh, Shelter Logic. I've used a lot of those. I've had mixed results, but they're getting expensive. And this was on Amazon for less than 400 bucks for a 12 by 20. So it's a pretty big one. And I like this one also because it's got windows. So it's light in there. So I built this little pad behind me. It's not perfectly level. It's mostly flat to be good enough. I had to be somewhat close to the house. You can see my house is still and probably always will be work in progress, but I want to be close because I want to run power in here, um, sort of like a temporary power to plug in the level two charger for the, the Jeep. Uh, after I get the shed or the garage, whatever you want to call it done, I'll put the Jeep in it and I'll, I'll show you that a little bit, but that's not really what this video is about. It's really about the little uh, garage thing. So what's really cool so far is it looks like it takes no tools at all to do this, like step ladder, tape measure, hammer, knife. Um, so I wanna just pretty much get started on it. Um, looks like you build the roof first, right on the ground. And also another thing I noticed that's pretty nice is that all the poles are the same size on the roof. So it's all just A's and then you just have these little connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying all that out, get all that connected, get the roof built and then we'll go on to the sides. basically the roof. Now it says to put the poles on one side and then put the, the canvas over the top. So we'll do that.
that wasn't too bad. Now we go ahead and put the other sides on and then I'll have to move it around. Probably should have made my pad a little bit bigger. I knew that, but this will work. Starting to look like something. There's a little hook on the uh, end here. It says just put it in the second hole, the second hole from the top down. So we'll do that in each one. So far it feels too easy, like something's wrong. <laughs> we'll see. I had to grab my stepladder just to get that peak over the top there. Once I got that over, pulling down that last hook was a little bit hard to pull down. Just makes it nice and tight. Now I got to put all the little feet on and then the sides go on. This is going along pretty quick, pretty easy so far. Now we can start putting the uh, all the sides on. That's one nice thing about this this unit so far is that the the side panels are removable, and so it's not all one big piece, which makes it a lot easier to assemble. I don't know if that makes it better or worse for uh, durability, but it's a lot easier to put up. So I'm just going to start with this end panel over there. It doesn't seem like it matters which panel you start with. As you can see, I've got one end panel on. I know you couldn't see what I was doing. Just wanted to show you how those hook and loops go around. So you just slide the uh, one end through, through a hole. Get you over here. So I slide one end through this hole and up and around, and then it just hooks hooks over. It's super easy, but I figured I'd show just because I'm showing all this, so why not show that as well? Another thing I want to show while I'm over here that's kind of interesting to me, hopefully not going to be an issue, but the corners are Velcro. And so the sides must, must Velcro on here. I don't know yet if it wraps around the pole. Probably does. But that seems, eh, we'll see if that holds up. I just started putting this side up 
when I realized I'm doing it backwards. There's probably other things to notice about that, like the windows are inside out. But I was coming along, putting all my loops on. Noticed this Velcro here, and this Velcro here. All you can see, that's not gonna line up. <laughs> so I gotta take this back off, just turn it around. Not a problem, super easy. So I'm just looking at these instructions and just notice that um, nowhere does it tell me to attach the loops in the roof. So there's these up here. I don't think those are supposed to go in the same loops as these, but it just never tells you to do it. So it's just kind of weird. I know it has to be done, but maybe I'll do that at the same time as I'm doing the sides. I don't know. So if you look at the picture a little bit closer, you can kind of see, so you get this metal ring here and the metal ring there. So the roof and walls are supposed to get tied together. Once I get the Velcro lined up on a pole, I notice that those rings do line up. And so, yeah, roof and walls go together. Just gonna finish hanging up these walls and then I'll show you uh, attaching the corners and stuff. So the center poles are easy on the walls. You just Velcro them together. And then just like the corners is a hook, you pull down, you put it in the second hole. Can you see it? Second hole down, just like I did on the corners. And those you can pull down more later on to adjust the tightness. But moving along. So far, super, super easy. Here's the finished, finished project, or finished product, whatever you want to call it. You got Joy in her new home. There's all kinds of room. So you can easily fit a four door Wrangler in here. You could have the front door closed and walk all the way around it. Honestly, we'll probably never close that. Uh, Hopefully it does okay in the wind. Couple things I wanna point out. One, this is definitely not made for snow. And so I'll keep a broom out here or something. And every time we get any snow at all, we'll have to hit the, the roof and knock it off because this isn't, it's not gonna support much. But it's better than nothing. Um, shelter logic is definitely, at least the ones I've had, would hold up a lot better has a lot more supports but for the money this is pretty nice a um, couple other things i didn't like the the end wall here that rolls up same with the other end uh, there's no pole to help roll no pole to roll uh, so it makes it a real pain that's one of the reasons why i won't be dropping this down uh, to try to roll this up without anything to use is just a pain. Um, I do have some some tubes kicking around from other sheds that are no longer standing. Maybe I could like tie one to the bottom of it and then I'll have that to roll it up. That'd make it a little bit easier. Yeah, that's basically it. 
Not much else to show. I got the corners tied down. All the legs are um are nailed down. So we'll see how this does, but for the money, I think it's gonna be okay. I do really like the the room in here. Like I said, that you get plenty of height. But keep in mind, like I said, this is this is not made to be a four season uh, carport. But I'm gonna do what I can with it. There will be a link in the description if you want to check this out um, to Amazon. And like I said, it was a great deal. It was less than four hundred dollars and. You know, some of you might be interested in something like this. Super easy to put up. Check it out. Thanks for watching.